You see that picture, brother? That's a picture of ancient painting of how Islam used to trade brothers like you on an auction block and sell them to white people. Uh, trading of slavery in Africa. Capture, catch, drag them, beat them, and chain them. Take them to the ones with the wealth that are uh, Scandinavian white people. It was a lucrative business for Islam. What cracks me up is a brother like you making fun of a guy that recovers for one reason or another. His reason was Jesus Christ. That he was able to stop self-destructing and become a better person. See, if his reason was Muhammad, you would have sang a different tune, right? Right? Not Allah, Muhammad. If he would have said, I found Muhammad, you would have sang a different tune. But you're so full of pride, brother, that you went ahead and decided to dog this person on his humanly weaknesses, that he used to be an addict, chemical addict at one time. And you stepping on his back, mere human being you try to make yourself or your beliefs much better how ignorant can you be dude by the way when are you going to answer my question that I texted you over and over through a video why did Allah impregnate a woman why did Allah find it to be necessary to impregnate a girl why don't tell me because bro because it seems like you know the purpose of Allah. So don't tell me because it's not an answer. Okay? Now, back to the topic. I'm from East Africa, bro. The shores of the Red Sea. And I'm a Christian. I'm a Christ follower. When I see Muslims, I grew up next door to them. Black Muslims are a lower class. Just with the women. Light-skinned Muslims are superior to right now. I challenge you to get a plane ticket and fly into Khartoum, Sudan, or Mogadishu. Blacks are laborers, and they're Islam. They pray side by side with the white Muslims. And the Muslims are the store owners, and they're prosperous. You come over here, you get converted into Islam in your penitentiaries but you don't know your history because they fooled you saying that Christianity is a white man's religion. So what do you do? You go back to your traitor, which is the Islam itself, and you crawl back on the auction block where you're comfortable and to be auctioned again. You like that chain one form or another. And according to that guy you just made fun of, the guy that had chemical addiction, that's trying to help others for one way or another. Okay? For the name of Jesus, which you consider to be a holy prophet, by the way. But every time you see his name, one way or another, you degrade Jesus. That's haram itself, too. It is a haram. That peace upon Jesus that you say, it's all tongue-in-cheek. I know how your intentions are. Because I grew up around you. You see the, the Muslims in Mogadishu, Sudan? I mean, uh, Somalia? You know why they're black, but yet they have uh, soft hair? Because Islam from the east, from Yemen and Saudi, when it came in through the ships, it was by force. Their women were forced. If you know what I mean, I don't need to say the word. Either convert or we're going to make you convert through a DNA contribution. It's beaten to their head. But you don't know your history. You like crawling back again on the auction block. And you're ready to be bought now by somebody else. Do your research thoroughly without being biased. Not wanting or not looking for a sense of belonging to any group even if something that's really gonna kill you so what I'm trying to say brother is you make fun of a guy that had chemical dependency I make fun of you that have whip dependency 
You crawl them back to the people that sold you from Africa. See, all you black Americans that sit here, you think you're Islam, you better think again. The white people bought you with cash, but you need to go back to the seller, the one that captured you and dragged you out of your villages and put you in the auction block. That's the one I'd hold responsible, not the one that's dispensing cash and the one that was edified on how to use black people as slaves. But you blame the buyer, not the slave pusher, you get it? You might want to click back on this video and check out the painting from the mid uh, uh, 6th, 7th century that I showed you, how the Turkish Islam were pushing blacks all the way north, railroading them from Africa all the way up north to Scandinavia. You might want to read that, bro. You're making fun of a guy that recovered from, from chemical dependency because of Christ. But you, you're stepping on his back. How proud and arrogant can you be, bro? Stop this ignorance, dude. Think again without bias.